So I got a new box today. But I was able to get my hands on a new device from Neat, a Neat frame that just showed up today. And I figured why not make a quick video on opening it up, getting it set up. Uh, it can be configured with Zoomer Teams. I'm Microsoft 365, I'm doing it all Teams. So let's dive into getting this opened up, get it set up, get it connected to Teams and check out how this works. We're just going straight down to the floor. Let's check out what's in here. So like top opens up and, ooh, look at this. Nice fancy handle to pull it out with. Uh, this is not necessarily light device, Fragile, this side up. Good thing I'm opening it the right way. So I'll pull this thing out of here. Get rid of that back. So here we go. Neat frame, this side up. Uh, oh, there's a little hole. Open up that. What do we have? In here, power cable. What looks like... That is everything in the top flap. Um, oh, I don't even need a knife. Get rid of that. So right up here, we have a little pull tab. A lot like Apple devices. I like my Apple devices. Similar to that, but now, what do I do? Oh, it looks like it, is it open? Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom. So it looks like it folds down. Oh, there we go. All right, open it up, this power cord. So that's all that's in here. Looks like nothing else in that part of the box. Uh, but then here is the frame itself, all wrapped in plastic. And here is the warranty card. That brown envelope doesn't come out. Warranty, safety information. Look at that. Um, that is all there is in the box. Get rid of that. You don't need that power cable. Ever famous pulling off the stickers. If I can figure out where, oh, right here. Here's another pull tab. Oh, it's, oh, it failed. There we go. No satisfying sticky peel. Pull that tab off and it just slides off the top there. Handle up here so you can grab it. Get a nice firm grip on the handle. And it appears that this should just maybe slide off the bottom. I might need to, but the way it's shaped, oh, there we go. Just had to rip it. So there it is. Screen, speaker. A little mount down there. Looks like you could mount it theoretically on a tripod or something. Uh, USB-C, headphone jack, power button, power plug down there. And, uh, oh, camera lens. So here, right here, you can see right up at the top. Flip the camera lens, open, closed. There's some of those ports back there that you can plug in, but that is all. So here we go. Got our neat frame. Um, now I'm going to have to go plug it in, figure out where to put it on my desk. I have an array of things. I have a phone, audio devices, cameras, all of that. So I have to find a good spot for this on my desk. I'm going to be back once I get some cables run, get this all plugged in, and we'll power it on and see how this thing works. It's all plugged in. Got the neat frame up and running. I can't really do a screen capture on it. So my phone aimed at the screen is about the best we're gonna do right now. Nice thing is it does have a super long cord. So it's like a 10 foot power cord. So in terms of like needing power strips to get it where I want it or something like that, I'm actually really happy with the power cord. So not often that I feel like the power cord is way longer than I need. I essentially plugged it in and it came right up to the screen. So choosing the language here. So we can go over here and we'll go to continue. 
network settings. Uh, you're going to see my networks here. So a whole bunch of them. We're going to choose my work network. Log in there. So network is there and join. Hopefully this will jump on the network here momentarily. Looks good. Network. Continue. Time. It is definitely not 5.06 p.m. Let's do change time zone. What's it set on? Yeah, it's set on GMT. Oh, so I am Eastern Standard, so we're minus 5 or Eastern Daylight Time. Go with New York. Save that. 12.06. Good. Got the time. I'm going to leave PM. We're not going to do 24-hour time. Continue. Update available. Naturally. There's always an update, right? So we'll go let this update. Again, this is the first time I've done this, so absolutely no idea how long this update is going to take. All right, so the download, like that progress bar, um, it got to like, I don't know, right in here somewhere with the download and then jumped to step two of two. So again, progress bar, not indicative. Uh, it actually went pretty quick. Looks like most of it is going to spend applying the update. Uh, yeah, my internet, it's one gig, so the download went pretty quick. Um, but it has taken a little bit to get this update applied. Oh, there it goes. Yep, so device restarted, share analytics. Yeah, I'll go ahead and share analytics with them. Um, camera preview. Oh, now you get to see my office. There's the camera preview. See my lights, my Lego, the camera filming the camera. It's like a little bit of uh, inception going on here. So looks good. Oh, look at that. It has like the whole face tracking. So as I move around, um, you can see standing, moving. I wonder how far it'll track me. It's probably a little bit based on wide angle. That looks like that's about it. I maybe. 45 degrees is about where it maxes out. Um, this way I have desks and walls, so I can't get in there. But do I get closer? Oh, yeah. See, it adjusts the zoom as I get closer. As I get farther away. Oh, there it goes. Picked me up. So, yeah, as I get further away, it'll zoom in. So, those are kind of some cool features there in terms of tracking and always keeping you centered in the frame. So we'll say looks good. Frame boundary. Auto frame. Focus on people beyond your meeting space. I mean, we can configure it for me. Like, that is my meeting space. People walk in there. It's They're walking into my meeting space. So, but it looks like boundless. Yeah, you can go in and width. Depth. I wonder if I narrow the width at all. Like, what is that? Let's be on walk around. See, so I can't even necessarily, it doesn't look like, get out of. Can I get out of the boundary? Oh, there we go. So if I do get out of the boundary, it switches to green. So it'll tell you if you're in an office space, again, yeah, maybe you have people walking behind you or something. Having that boundary and being able to fine tune that so it doesn't pick up people walking behind you or uh, walking in next to you. Could be really nice. Again, for me, my home office, not going to be a big deal. Let's continue. Choose a platform. All right. So this is where you can pick. I, I think you do have to reset these devices in order to switch. Uh, for me, I'm always doing Teams. I do use Zoom a little bit. But for me, this is Teams device. So now it's going to go in and uh, install Microsoft Teams. Um, I have to wait a little bit to get this installed, see what happens with it. All set. Launch Microsoft Teams. Uh, step one, on my computer, go to Microsoft. All right, it's over here. We got our browser up. We're going to head over to HTTPS and Microsoft.com slash device login. Uh, so this is pretty standard. Teams phones, all of those. There's no code on here. I have had this before too. So we can just refresh the code and it'll get us one. So FQLX, F8, XQG. All right, so we're signing in, broker on another device. 
Let's go type in my username. Worker school. Authenticator. Let's do other ways to sign in today. Uh, sure, we can use a security key. Got that plugged in. So USB security key. Enter in our pin for our YubiKey. And there we go. Yes, I'm trying to sign in there. You signed in, so there it goes. Device is popping up. Looks like I'm signed in, registered. I saw it registered the device with Azure Active Directory there. So it should be able to be a managed device that we can manage in there. And so now I can send a notification. We couldn't send a notification. Next. Huh. So something with me and my MFA does not want me to do that. So I'm going to have to go look at my password. I do passwordless, no clue what my password is. All right, there we go. Get my password all typed in. Let's sign in and see if this works. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Authenticator app, there we go. I at least can get to this now for 0959, verify. All right, verified, signing in. So make sure you have your MFA device. Going through the device registration, signing out. Couldn't enroll in Intune. So I got all logged in. Uh, the previous error was just a issue. I have privileged identity management. Credentials weren't elevated. Reran it and got the device registered all set up. So now I'm back to this point. So that first setup going through it was more just registering the device with um, Azure AD. So now it's actually setting up my account now that the device is registered. So I'm doing a worker school account. I'm gonna sign me in. It'll be interesting to see if it picks up. It looks like it picked up that I used my credentials to register with Azure AD. It did prompt for worker school because that email address does have both a work and a personal account associated with it. So that was the reason I got that prompt. Now what's calling, who's coming, who stopped by, all of that. All right, next. Perfect pair, connect your computer. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to connect here because I'm on a Mac. Uh, I have the same thing with my Teams phone here, uh, is that I can't pair my Teams phone with my Mac. It's something that's not supported yet in the Teams client for Mac. I'm gonna click continue. We'll, or connect, we'll see if this happens. It looks for devices. And then essentially, because I don't have a Windows device, it can't find any. It would I would love this to come to the Mac sometime. It's not a huge deal from functionality. Essentially, it just allows like the Teams client and this device to work together. But when they don't do that, you can still just join the meeting from both devices, but they don't necessarily have that pairing and that seamless working together. So I'm gonna set that up later. Personal secure, setting up a pin. Here, it's in my office, it's at home. I probably don't need a pin on here. In fact, I'm not even gonna do it, but it does give you that option. Remote unlock, uh, you can do a device reset, set the pin, um, enable a lock screen. I'm just gonna leave this off, because for me, being in my office, um, it might be nice just to have it always up and not actually lock the screen. So we'll go in here and Here's the frame. So everything is set up right now. Uh, looks like calls, contacts, voicemail, chat, calendar, more. You can see some of these chats. So I was chatting with Sean about some stuff, Kathy, some unknown. Ooh, look, scroll up and down, see different chats there. Um, chat brings up the chat history, calendar. You can see meetings coming up, more. I don't know, files, teams, notes, ooh, notes. What does this do? Someone leaves a note, it shows up here. So not like handwritten notes, but somebody sending me a notes, reorder files, teams, I can go jump through teams, contacts, voicemail, calls. So this is interesting. I can call people here, I can see voicemails, but we'll call my company number. So if I wanted to set this up as a Welcome device, I could do the Teams room device, but tied to my personal account, works fine just like that. 
making phone calls, but yeah, a little dial pad down there. Test. It's nice and responsive too. Oh, there's notes. Huh, look at that. Very responsive in terms of speed and working with it. A lot more responsive than the Teams phone I have here in my desk too. Test user, they're not gonna answer, but I can do like video call. And there you go. It's calling that test user, puts me in a meeting. They're not gonna answer, but I have my uh, mic, my phone, hang up there, home. Oh, here's settings. So if you click on your profile up here, you can go view your profile. This is that connected device. So if you wanted to connect your device, it's not gonna work in a Mac. Settings, notifications, delegates, so some permissions, my profile, messaging, calling people, pins, wallpapers. You can go pick some wallpapers. Winter, pick something snowy. So yeah, there's some wallpapers. I don't know that I can actually add any of my own about, report an issue, send out device settings, accessibility language, audio, video. So whether you group people, some of the banding that we had looked at earlier. Oh, I can do Bluetooth. So I should be able to, I'm going to have to look at what the password is. There's probably a default. I haven't looked at the documentation, so I'm sure there's a default one. Audio, video, Bluetooth. Okay, so this is where I could pair Bluetooth if I want to use AirPods, any other Bluetooth speakers with it. Uh, that's a nice little feature to have in there. System settings, software update, device analytics, screen brightness. Standby, auto wake up. I wonder what auto wake up. Wakes up and sleeps based on presence. So probably audio video detection. I know I have some other Android tablets and guess this is probably all Android. I think they even have that on their website that it's Android. Remote access and access it via web browser. Oh, that's kind of nifty. I might have to play with that and see what you can get to with remote access. Maybe that'll be another video. Um, I think that's about everything. Uh, so a nice little standalone Teams device here. Again, I'll have to figure out a place for it on my desk. Kind of like it. I'm going to have to test it out for a few calls. I might get rid of my Teams phone or maybe move my Teams phone out of the way and use this in place of my Teams phone. Uh, it is a little bit bigger, but the nice thing with this is it does have a camera. So a lot of times I join my... I join on both my computer and my phone, even if I'm just doing a phone call, just to get the camera, do the video. Now I can do this, do camera, video for phone calls, all of that. I just have to find a spot for it because, again, it's a touch bigger than the phone I have on my desk now. But that's an overview. Neat frame. I might have some more neat products on the way. We'll have to see. Uh, maybe I'll have another video or two um, coming up in the future. But for now, Hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions about the device, anything you want me to try in the device, uh, play around with. I love playing around with new stuff. So thanks for watching.